Hey, hey everyone, I'm Stephanie Mullen from RampantDesignTools.com and today I'm going to talk all about Rampant's lower thirds for the masses and show you a few techniques that will get you up and running and allow you to get the most out of your lower thirds in DaVinci Resolve. Now before I start, if you are not familiar with Rampant's lower thirds, head on over to RampantDesignTools.com and click on the lower thirds in the product list. Here you will see all the lower third packs offered for Rampant Design, and there are so many unique and affordable lower thirds for you to add to your video today. All right, let's jump back over to Resolve and get started using the lower thirds. And in this tutorial, I'm going to show you what makes the Rampant lower thirds unique from other lower thirds out there, how to quickly and easily change the color. I'm gonna show you how to add simple text using a fade reveal with your lower thirds. And then I'm gonna show a little bit more complex reveal using your lower thirds as mats to reveal your text. Okay. Let's start with the lower thirds. What makes these so different from other lower thirds you're going to get on other sites? Well, first, you're going to get HD and 4K versions of the lower thirds. So no matter what size project you are working in, these will work for you. Second, the lower thirds come with separate parts so you can easily remove or keep certain parts of the lower third that you like. Third, the lower thirds come in black and white. That allows you to easily change the color to whatever you like. And the last thing that makes these lower thirds so great is that they are MOV files. Why is this so great? Well, you can take these with you no matter what editing software you're using. Working in Resolve today, but next week your company changes to another software, no worries, your lower thirds will be there to use whenever you need them. All right, now let's talk about how to use the lower thirds in Resolve. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually bring up my finder and I'm gonna show you these without, and not in Resolve first. And I wanna show you how they come. So these are how the lower third packs come from Rampant. Once you've downloaded them and unzipped them, you're gonna see that they come in your packs. And then if you double click on these packs, you're gonna see there's a 4K folder and an HD folder. And if you click on these, you will see your files inside, okay? And these are all your MOV files right here. Now you will notice that if I take this to a list view and show you this way, you will notice that all your parts here, there's gonna be four lower thirds in every pack and they're gonna come with different parts. And these are gonna represent different pieces of the lower third. So it's gonna make customizing it a little bit easier. All right, let's talk about importing. So let's jump back into Resolve right here. Now I will mention that I'm in a HD project. I'm working in a 1920 by 1080 timeline. Um, I'm gonna use the HD lower thirds, but I could use the 4K if I wanted to. It would just be a larger um, lower third that would allow me to work with things like scale and rotation. But I'm gonna keep it HD, keep it a little simple for now. But if you wanted to use the 4K size, definitely go ahead and do that. All right, the first thing we have to do is import our lower thirds into Resolve. Well, we're gonna do that is first, I'm gonna, I like to keep everything organized. So I'm gonna make a bin. So I'm gonna right click on over here. I'm gonna say bin. I'm gonna say, call it lower thirds. All right, so there's my bin. Now we're gonna jump over to our media, media storage right here. And I'm gonna click on my lower thirds. I'm gonna use lower thirds pack two, twirl that down, click on the HD, and then I'm gonna grab all of these highlight them all, drag them into my lower thirds bin, and now they're all right here. If I go back to my timeline, you will see all of our lower thirds have been imported, just like that. Super, super easy. Now, how do we get these into the timeline? Well, let's first add some footage into our, we're gonna put some footage on video layer one, just like that. Go back to our lower thirds, and I'm just gonna start with uh, num the number one uh, lower third right here, and there are four parts. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna be doing, we're gonna stack these like this. I'm gonna go one, I'm gonna go two, I'm gonna go three and I'm gonna go four. Oops, that one didn't go. Number four, okay? Very, very simple. If we played that through, make this come down a little bit, give it some space. There you go. All right, so there's our first lower third already in our project. It's super, super easy. Now, the very first thing I want to talk about is I want to talk about what makes these so customizable is that you can turn off layers if you don't want them, right? So some of these lower thirds have things like flares, or maybe I don't want this white stripe coming through. Or maybe I don't want this dark stripe coming through. So let's go ahead and turn that one off. This one right here. All right. So maybe I like that a lot better. Okay. So I can leave that. Maybe I want to turn this off. All right. Well, it doesn't look interesting enough. Maybe I want to turn all these off and I just want to keep this layer right here so it comes in like this. Let's see. All right, I can play with these and use these any way I want. Basically, it's like having a bunch of different options, a bunch of different lower thirds, even though there are only four in the pack for Rampant. All right, let's turn all these back on. So that's number one. You can turn on and off layers depending on how you want to use the lower third. I love that. Now the next thing I wanna talk about is color. All the lower thirds are gonna come in black or white, which means you can change the color to anything you like. 
We do that in Resolve by adding a color generator, which is found in the effects library. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna deselect all these and I'm gonna pull up the effects library. And if you don't see this open, you're gonna come down here to open effects and then you're gonna scroll down here to color generator. Now, because I'm using this a lot, I like to star this and put it in my favorites. So it's right here, but it's right here underneath resolve effects generate. So we drag this, I'm gonna drag it to the first one really fast first. Now this has the, you'll see the effects right here, see that little symbol? So this has the open effects on it. So we click on there, we're gonna go to our inspector. If you don't see the inspector open, click right here. It will open the inspector. And here's a little tab that says open FX. Click on that and here's your color generator. We can make this whatever we want. So I'm gonna grab that and look at that instant color. So let's go ahead and add color to the rest of our pieces. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually select them all. So I'm gonna highlight them red, grab the color generator and drag it on top. Now with just one selected, I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna add that same purple color. And I wanna show you here for the blend. What this is gonna do is it's gonna like determine how much of that color is actually showing on your C0 will be the gray all the way to full. So I can like using this to sort of give a different color um, as far as like a tint would go. All right, so let's keep adding the colors in and we're gonna keep working with the blending adding in our final, there we go. And the only one I'm missing, I think I'm gonna make this one, I think we're gonna keep this white. Say okay, like that. I like the way that looks with the white pop. That is beautiful. Look how easy that was, so, so simple. Now you can also, since we're playing with the color, you can also play with things like the opacity. So maybe I wanna click over here, click back on video, and I can bring this down. So then you can start seeing some of your video through, um, the color, the lower third, which I think is a really cool effect. So let's go ahead and add some of that opacity in. That looks beautiful. And then let's just grab that top one, bring it down just a little bit. Oop, not that one, this one. So that's a really cool lower third. I love the way that looks, that's awesome. So it was really, really simple. We have the ability to turn layers on and off so we can actually use this and customize this lower third to exactly what we want. We then add a color generator to our lower thirds to change the color and we work with the blend mode to just you know, do the tint and give it a different color based on the other layers. And then we can play with the opacity to actually allow it to be see-through for our video underneath. I love the way that looks. All right, so let's play through our color, our full color uh, reveal with no text yet. Let's just do the color. Here's what it looks like. Oh, that is beautiful. I love that so much. All right, now let's talk about adding text. How do we add text to this? Well, like I told you, we're gonna start out with a simple fade reveal or opacity reveal. So let's go over here to our title tool. If you don't have this open, remember, click on your effects libraries right here, and you're gonna click on titles. And you can choose any of these that you want. I'm gonna choose this left lower third that's gonna come down, it's gonna be right in this right position. Drag it on top right there. I'm gonna extend it out to, so it matches our lower third. There's our title. So let's go ahead and fill it in. So Sally Smith, and let's go to the second title. And she's CFO of Rampant Financial. All right, let's go. Let's make Sally a little bit larger. Not too much bigger, that's good. And then let's do Rampant Financial a little bit bigger too. Perfect. And then let's move Sally down. And then let's move the whole thing down. Easy title. All right, there she is. Sally Smith, CFO, Rampant Financial. Let's rewind this. So right now we have this. All right, beautiful. So there we have our title in the right place and we have our lower third with all the colors and the opacity changes. It's easy peasy, love that. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do an opacity reveal on this title. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna back this up to about right, probably it comes across. So let's make it start fading right here. So I'm gonna go to the video tab and here's our opacity. We're gonna make a keyframe and we're gonna make this keyframe zero, okay? And then I'm gonna come forward a little bit and we're gonna make this, another, we're just gonna put in the amount 100 and that's gonna add another keyframe. So this is what we have so far. Did you see that? That is so pretty. 
It's a great reveal. I love how that looks. It, it comes on perfectly. You can always extend that, your fader, if you want it to be longer, but I absolutely love that. That is perfect. And there you go. That's a really, really simple fade reveal for your title. All right, now let's move on to the more complex matte reveal. So the fade is super easy, but what if you want the shape of your lower third to reveal your text? Well, that's not a problem. We are gonna be using nodes to create mats, and then the mats will be revealing our text. So let's first, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna grab a piece of, I'm gonna, we're gonna have to set up our lower thirds. Now we've already imported our lower third pack to here, but what we need to do to make a mat is we have to import our lower thirds as mats. How do we do that? Well, I'm gonna first create a bin that says mats. Okay, only one, two Ds, not three. All right, here's the mats. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to our media storage right here, and I wanna click on the same lower thirds that we were doing here. Now you can click on all of them, or you can click on just the ones you wanna use. So let's just go with number two, and we wanna highlight all of these number two, so there's actually five parts, just like that. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna right click and we're gonna say, add to media pool as a mat. Now you should see down here that your mat folder, your mat bin is selected. Add to media pool as mat, there you go. Now you should see these little mat symbols right here, okay? That's how you import all of your lower thirds to be have your mat reveals. Now, if I was setting this project up at the beginning, I would have done all of this at one time, so that way I don't have to go import more things, but you can do it whenever you want. I would have just done it all at the same time. All right, let's go back to our timeline. And the very first thing I wanna do is I wanna add some footage down here. So let's go ahead and shrink this example up and let's move this down a little bit. Let's go back to our footage, grab a piece and stick it on, on video layer one. Now, before we start building our lower thirds, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna make a copy of this. So I'm gonna hold down Alt and I'm gonna drag up. So now I have my footage on video layer one and video layer two. Now let's build our lower thirds just like the last example that we did. So click on my lower thirds. Remember we're using number two and we have to have all of these parts. So let's just grab them part one, part two, part three, part four, and part five. Okay, now you can shrink these up if you want. We can make them match our, our edit, which is perfect. Okay, let's go ahead and do that. Now the very next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add color, just like we did on our last example. So let's go ahead and highlight everything and go to our open effects, or go down here to favorites, but I'm gonna show you inside here. It's right down to resolve, effects generate, drag the color generator to all of your layers, drop it on. Now let's start adding some color and Let's go ahead and add this color. Let's move our cursor over here so we can see. All right, let's add another color here and maybe blend that out a little bit. Add another one. And add another one. And then, oops, okay. And then add one more. And I think I'm gonna actually use this. I'm gonna bring down the there we go. So it's a little bit darker. Okay, that's beautiful. I love the way that looks. Now let's go ahead and do some opacity changes. So I want this bottom one to be a little more see-through. Maybe this one a little more see-through. And this one. Okay, I love the way that looks. It's beautiful. So let's watch it play through. So far, so good. All right, there's our lower third. We've built it already. Let's start adding some text. So let's go to our title tool. And I'm just gonna grab the regular text this time. I'm gonna drag it on top and I'm gonna extend it out. And I'm gonna put in here, please, if I can type right, please, and space, subscribe. With an exclamation point, I can change the font. And then we can move it down. And then let's put it on the left side, just like that. And let's make this line spacing a little bit more. There we go. That looks very nice. Please subscribe, love that. And I'm actually gonna put in one more text, one more title here on, for the other side. And I'm gonna say new, tutorials every week. And I'm gonna again change the font and 
Then I'm going to reposition it to oops, this side and make it smaller. Let's do the line spacing. Let's actually make the last one there smaller. So this part, you just, you're getting your titles to look the way you want them to look. And then when you have everything in position, then we're ready to go on to the next part. So let's just get everything ready. And then what I want to do is let's just make this match. All right. That's beautiful. Love the way our title looks. Okay. Now that we have our titles in place, our lower thirds have been colored and everything's ready. Now we're going to do the matte reveal. The very first thing we have to do is we have to create a compound clip. So we're going to be selecting all of our layers except the very bottom layer of footage. So go ahead and select all of these. And then what you're going to do is right click and say new compound clip. You can call this whatever you want. I'm just going to leave it says compound clip one. That's fine. Now it's really nice. You've got two clips. You've got one on the bottom and one right here. So with our compound clip selected, we're going to click on our color panel down here, and this is going to open up the node panel. So we're going to be working with all of our nodes here. And the first thing you'll see right here is this is going to be our main node. This is this box right here. This is what you're seeing. So it's what we just built. So now we're going to be adding our matte pieces. Well, how do we do that? Well, I like to stick this guy way over here on the corner on the right hand side, and then we're going to right click. We're going to say add matte. And here are all of your pieces. Now, if you have them all imported, you're going to have to find the ones that say two, but ours are real simple. So we're going to say one. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to move that around. I'm going to disconnect all of these. So we're going to add all of these mats in, but I'm going to disconnect them. Right now we're just adding them in, just disconnecting. And I'm putting them over here on the left-hand side. You're going to see why in just a second. So four, disconnect four, and we have one more and disconnect five. Okay, so now all of our mats are right here. So this is our, all of our pieces, all five of them right here. If you had less, it would be less pieces. There are more, there'd be more pieces. Now, we have to connect these to here. The first thing I'm gonna do before I do this, I'm gonna press right click and I'm gonna say add alpha output. It's gonna put a blue dot down here. This is gonna be for our mat, for all of these mat pieces. Okay, now we have to connect all of these mats to here. How do we do that? Well, we're going to be doing right click and we're going to say add no, we're going to add node and we're going to be adding a key mixer right here. Okay. And we're going to, we're going to do is we're going to connect one of these mats to each key mixer. So basically we're going to be adding in four key mixers because we have five clips. All right. So add in another key mixer. I'm just going to do this right now. I'm going to add in another key mixer. Remember I'm adding in four. You're going to be one less from what you have for your layers. All right, so now we have our four key mixers in here. What we're going to do is we're going to connect these like this. Oops, boop. And then we're going to go bloop. And we're going to go boop. And we're going to go boop. And we've already connected the first one. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to connect all of our keys together. So we're going to go boop, boop, boop. And then we're going to add the final one we're going to add to our output right here. Okay, so now what we did is we keyed all of these together and we put this as the alpha output. Now, if we go back to our timeline and we roll this through, you will see there's nothing there. Watch this. See that? There you go. That's how you add in your, your uh, pieces as matte pieces. And I love the way that looks. It is beautiful. This is such an easy technique to use the lower thirds as a mat to reveal your text underneath. And I absolutely love the way it looks. It's super, super easy. And that's that. In this tutorial, I showed you how customizable the lower thirds are with color changes and the ability to keep or remove certain aspects of the lower thirds. I showed you how to do a simple fade reveal on your text. And then I showed you how to do a little more complex reveal by using the lower thirds as mats. These lower thirds are really, really nice and a great way to add easy, great looking titles to your next project. If you like this tutorial, go ahead and click that thumbs up button and share with anyone who may be interested in easy to use lower thirds. And if you are new to our channel, go ahead and click that subscribe button so you don't miss any more of our free training, product releases, or anything else we cook up in the Rampant Labs. As always, thanks so much for watching. I'm Stephanie Mullen with RampantDesignTools.com.